uh, how was your first season at Florida State? Could have been better, but I mean, there's a lot of things I can work on. Like I would say my main problem was just my weight at the, at the time, but like I said, that can be fixed. So there's going to be a better season this year for me. How have you made strides with getting yourself in better shape, your conditioning, and uh, towards that goal? I've been working with Coach O, like outside of workout. Like he just tells me like the right things to eat, and I go in there and get some extra cardio, and shoot, it went down pretty fast. And I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. Do you feel a difference? Yeah, I do. I do. A lot of people said I would, but I'm you know one ear out the other. But I really do. How much weight have you actually dropped? <sighs> I came in 396, and now I'm 371. So I've got more strides to make. So is there a good. number in your mind that's a goal? 320 by the season. So that's what I'm living by. That's how we gonna do it. How do you get to that? I mean, that's a significant uh, yeah significant weight loss. Yeah, I mean, I try to make it realistic because you know season don't start till August, so that's gonna give me a lot of time. Especially with like the kind of diet I'm on now, it's been helping. So I think it'll work. What is that diet? Really, uh, it's just meat, water, you know, yogurt, you know, little stuff, vegetables, stuff like that, and probably about two meals a day. What do you What do you miss the most? What I miss the most, man, steak. I miss steak. <laughs> I can't eat it like I used to. <laughs> can you feel the difference just the way you move? Your mm -hmm. body? I mean, I know you're not doing football yeah. practices right now, but can you mm -hmm. just feel it in agility? And yeah, the like when we did chase, like when we do the chase, I feel it. I feel it all. I can tell that I lost weight from the first chase that we did last week to today. I could, I could feel the difference. What's the chase like? <sighs> everything they said it would be but I mean it's 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 just it's just a, it's mental really I mean it's not it's just good let's put it like that I'm good what's the attitude um everybody's just feeding into each other everybody's buying in you can tell like it's a difference from last year it's just people buying in and we all listening doing what we're supposed to do how big is it for this group to be able to turn the page very big, very big. Specifically with, you know, last year, just how, you know, what, what do you think you did well when you were able to get into the game? Really, I think my best thing I had last year was just holding down gaps. I mean, I could have, I know my pass rush could have been better, but I think my, my main thing was holding gaps down in a run. That's what helped me well, yeah. Other than you know dropping the weights and you know, getting lighter, just what's your goal for this offseason in practice? Just actually, my main goal was just losing weight. I mean, Coach Odell, you know, I, t I told him that you know I want to I want to get my hands better, you know, hand placement, and just like little things that D tackle is supposed to know, like you know what foot to look at when you offensive line, you know, little thing. So that's about it. That. I was working with Coach Odell last year. I know he can be pretty tough on yeah. young guys. See, I, I never had a coach like Odell, so he pushes me a lot. Cause I think the best way I can explain him is he's a perfectionist. Like, he wants everything perfect. So I never had a coach like that, so it really pushes me to another level. Well, especially, like, in, if I'm wrong, tell me, but in high school, you know, and being as big as you yeah. are, you kind of just get by on being bigger and stronger. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe not as technique-based? Oh, you talking about like, in like college? When you were younger, yeah, and now you're having to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when I was in high school, you know, all you needed was strength. That's the throw dudes around, but in college you got to know like techniques. When you got to rip, when you got to push pull, when you got to do certain moves, and that's what, what I mean. While Coach Odell is helping me, yeah, he's helping me with that, and it's um, it's going to affect my game a lot in a good way. Does that make you you see a different light, a different appreciate certain things to you know see that Odell's a perfectionist, and it makes you kind of open your eyes to different things? Yeah, it does. I mean, at first when I you, at first I hated it because I ne like I said I never had a coach like that and. When he keeps making you come back and doing it over again and over and again, you know, it makes you be like, what at first, but it's, it's, it's going to help. Are, are you excited about the, the potential of bringing that technique with the strength and physicality? Oh, yeah. You're not going to lose Oh, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited because I know it's going to take – sky's the limit. That's all I know. So what advice maybe have you given to some of the freshmen coming in in this recruiting class? <laughs> that mental toughness. That's that's what I, that's what I was told when I first got here by Marvin and Demarcus. 
And that's why I'm passing on down. You got to be mentally tough, especially for like the workouts and the practices, meetings, like they mentally tough. Yeah. Defensive tackle is one of the most talented, talented positions on this team. You just how do you guys go about fighting for reps and you know, just what's the mentality like there? I mean, it's it's a lot of love on D line, so it's like it's like everybody wants to eat, and is that Coach Odell's keep giving us that chance last year, and you know he's he's coaching the whole D line now, but uh, like as a D tackle group, it's just everybody wants to succeed, so we just leave it like that. What did you when did you first meet Jaden Woodby, and what what did you think of him? Oh, first man. Oh, I met Jaden Woodby on my last day of my official visit because he came late. Oh, okay. He, I think he was at Ohio State on Saturday. He came on Sunday. So I met him there. And he asked me, he said, you got that bench 500 pounds? And I was like, yep, that's me. And we've just been talking ever since. What kind, what kind of teammate is he? What kind of guy is he? He's a, Jaden is a great leader. Jaden is probably one of the best teammates I've been around. Like, a, he brings a lot of energy. He demands a lot out of you. He's a great leader. He'll be a great leader. Still bent. What do you bench now? Do they let you max out? I haven't maxed since I've been here, but oh, really? so probably I know if, man, got to, got to. How close is this uh, 18 class? How close are you guys? Oh, we're very close. Like, I mean, during the recruiting process, we all had a group. Like, we was always talking to each other even before we got here. So even when we did get here, it just got stronger. We started hanging out with each other more. You know, we ain't no, ain't no little cliques. We're all one group. And I think that's probably the best thing about us. Did you know anything about Keyshawn's story? How late in the game, Keyshawn Helton, how mm -hmm. late in the game he signed and that he didn't really have a off? I heard a little bit about it, but I just I just, I just, just heard that he got an um, offer really late, before, like their own signing day or something. Close to it, yeah. yeah that's all I heard about it. What, when you saw him, when you see him in practice and see him in the games, he, he kind of plays a little bit of a chip on that's, his shoulder. He plays with a lot of heart. That's, that's probably one of the only dudes I know that play with a lot of heart like that. I mean, it's, it takes a lot to bring that bring that man down mentally, physically, all that way. He's a strong dude. So many guys have said that, you know, they've taken last season personally. Do you, do you feel that? Oh, yeah, I feel it. Because, I mean, it's just a lot of naysayers. I mean, you, you feel it, but that's why it pushes us even harder during just stuff like the chase and, you know, PRP stuff. You know, it pushes us a lot, so. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to take this home with me. <laughs> <laughs> <For real. laughs>